Madayao Matinians, it has been a year since I officially resumed office as your elected city mayor of Mati. The past 365 days have been very challenging for all of us, not just for me, but including you. With this COVID-19 pandemic that affected not just the city of Mati, but the whole world, all of us were caught off guard. At first, we didn't know what to do or how to handle this enemy that is very invisible to all of us. But we know it's out there waiting for us to let our guards down again and decimate all of us if we are not careful. The year 2020 would have been a good year for Mati with all the projects and programs we have in plan. But then again, we prioritize what is most important to all of us and that is people's lives. I have always placed importance on the health of the people, especially here in Mati. That is why in the 2020 budget, I made it sure that the allocation for our city health office gets an increase from a 4.11% to the maximum of 15% in the total budget. Translated to peso, that is from 48.3 million in 2019 to 122.9 million this year. And this increase happened way before we even had this pandemic scare. This, I think, is a blessing in disguise as to why we were readily able to establish our alternate care system or site in Milagrosa to the tune of 10 million pesos, plus another 15 million we set aside allocated for the operational costs for an initial six months operation. This will last until December. It is a huge cost, yes, but it's nothing compared to the lives that we saved and the community we protect from the COVID-19. Aside from health, our food security is another priority of this administration. With the months long lockdown, we provided over 200,000 food packs for our Mati residents from the period of March to June, divided into four tranches of release. While the city social welfare and development office, along with our city councilors, are busy distributing food packs in all 26 barangays, our city agriculture office is also busy with their seed distribution and construction of facilities to ensure that Mati City would not run out of fresh food supplies, which can be another pandemic. So we also acknowledge the role of our barangay captains and the barangay officials in our continuing fight against COVID-19. We have our barangay health response teams at the forefront together with our barangay tanods and the Auxiliary Task Force in the Lupong Tagapamayapa. We spend about 2.7 million pesos per month for our barangay frontliners who are doing their job very well, notwithstanding the threat to the virus that the virus poses. Our incident management team headed by Dr. Benhur Katbagan together with the City Health Office, the City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office headed by Charlie Bagasol, the Philippine Red Cross, and all other local, national, and non-government agencies working together in the fight against the pandemic. We have been on top of the situation since day one. Since February, we already have served a total of 2,073 PUMs, or what we call the persons under monitoring, 74 PUIs, or persons under investigation, and we had five confirmed patients which might be revised anytime soon. All PUMs have been supported by the city with food provisions for 14 days while in home quarantine. And for the duration of their stay at our alternate care site, PUIs and confirmed patients are provided with food, medicine, and all other necessities, all for free. We do this to ensure that our patients would really stay in isolation so as to protect the community from getting infected as well. We wanted some normalcy outside the facility. While we fight the pandemic, some government projects continued, especially our infrastructure projects. 
We have our ongoing construction in our Buso Hot Spring, and the course, and of course, the rehabilitation and improvement of our Mayor Francisco Girabat Parks and Bay Walk. And I've said, I would just allow you to see for yourself all the accomplishments by of this administration of our various departments and offices have accomplished in our first year of office. Please watch and enjoy.
in the year, I guess it's still a fight against this COVID unless we find a vaccine. This is our priority. But since we have our systems in place already, I think we are a little bit comfortable so we could proceed with our other plans and have some normal life. During the COVID period, we continued with constructions of our new tourism sites. About to start is the Guangguang for our Safari Nights program and the Baybok Improvement and Rehabilitation. I also wanted to put up a botanical garden up there in the mountains of Kulian, but maybe funding source would be difficult at this point in time. But to dream is free. So we will just pursue it in probably the next years to come so we can make more destinations in Mati. For the construction of the fish port complex for our food security, we already submitted the documents to the Department of Budget and Management because I'm asking for funding support for this to the tune of 150 million to 200 million. I'm praying and hopeful that it will be approved by our president. <laughs> and the chicken dressing plant, which will be a uh, construction is about to start soon after we were able to secure a loan from Land Bank of the Philippines to support this program. Again, this is for our food security. If you notice, we are shifting from concentrating so much in tourism, entertainment, to food security. We have distributed our seedlings for vegetables. We have constructed simple irrigation for our farmers to use. All of these at the expense of government. Because after all, 
I also consider our farmers to be frontliners. The primary focus for next year's budget is still health, agriculture, and social services. If you notice, these are the three departments that were really on top of the fight against COVID. And since COVID will still be around next year, uh, I guess the priority should be still with these departments. So to the people of Mati, rest assured that your city government is working for you in this time of crisis. We thank the administration of President Rodrigo Duterte and all of our friends who have helped us and continue to help us survive this pandemic. Lastly, I thank you all, the people of Mati, for your cooperation and support in all of our programs and activities, most especially for your cooperation in this fight against COVID-19. Together, we can defeat the virus. Do your share by always wearing face mask when going out, frequently washing hands, and observing physical distancing. This is considered to be a consideration to one another if you practice this new normal. Gamay nga butang pero dakong tabang sa tanan. Dagang salamat, make it mati, maganahay nga di. Oh